Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Saturday at City Field, the Mets made it two straight off the Milwaukee Brewers by beating Milwaukee 5 to 4. Mets were down 4 to 1. Yoenis Cespedes tied it with a sixth inning home run, and David Wright had the walk off hit in the bottom of the ninth. Well, you had the bases loaded, nobody out. Uh, Campbell let it off, got the inning started with a base hit to right field. Uh, a couple w- walks in, in mixed in between. A beautiful bunt. Uh, by Matt Reynolds that advanced the runners, set the stage for David with the bases loaded, one out. Got a 3-0 count. Got a hit sign. Got a base hit. I've never seen that uh, in, my, in my career, a 3-0 bases loaded situation like that. He always got the take sign. David got the hit sign, I guess. Came through. I mean, I just, um, you know, I guess reasoned in the short amount of time that, you know, that might be the best pitch to hit, you know, in the at-bat. Um, especially a guy that throughout the inning, um, you know, really relied on off-speed pitches. So, you know, I figured that, you know, if I were, um, you know, to bet, I'd get a fastball there. And, you know, fortunately I got one where I can extend a little bit and hit it hard. Uh, I was going to give him the hit sign, but I, I mean, I, we, he and I talked about another situation we had earlier, and he said, you know, I, I'll, I like to hit there. And I said, I know you do. So I didn't even bother giving it to him because I knew he wasn't going to look for it anyway. So, you know, these guys have picked me up so much this year. That it's nice to be able to kind of return the favor a little bit and, um, you know, do something positive to, um, you know, allow us to celebrate in here after the game. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice to see, like I said, I kind of took my time getting down to first base, try to enjoy it a little bit. And, um, you know, it's nice to see the smiling faces there, you know, waiting for you to, to greet you and, and then able to celebrate. It's, uh, um, you know, that's, a, that's one of the best feelings of baseball. Well, I'm thrilled for him. Um, you know, he's a great player and, and, you know, he's off to a slow start trying to deal with what he's had to deal with. And for him to be put in that situation, I, you know, I kind of felt he was going to do something to come through because that's, he hasn't had many of those opportunities. And I, I just, that's where he needs to be. Not a great uh, outing for Jacob DeGrom. Gave up four runs in five innings through 100 pitches. But the bullpen, against spectacular. Four scoreless innings. Four scoreless, two hits. And Familia gets his first win of the season. Came in in the ninth inning. Robles, two strong innings. Reed really had to work hard to get out of his inning, but he did complete the, complete the inning. Well, they've been tremendous. You know, and I've said it before, in today's game, you got to have a good bullpen. If you're gonna if you're gonna have success in this league, you better have a strong bullpen. And those guys came out and pitched great tonight. Early on, I felt good. Uh, I felt like my stuff was really good. I just had a hard time locating. Um, you know, like I said, we've been working on some things. Felt like they're getting better. But um, you know, when you, you you're three two to every guy, and then you end up walking three guys, that's gonna hurt you. So, but I, I feel like we uh, you know made some steps in the right direction. Um, you know, I would like to go out there and pitch a little more than five innings with giving up four runs. You know, the stuff, actually his fastball was better. I know you guys were happy about that. The radar gun popped up there a little bit. Nobody brought that up yet, but I know you were smiling about that. Um, But his command wasn't real good. I mean, 101 pitches in five innings is not Jacob DeGrom. The bullpen's been great. Uh, They've stepped up big for us. Um, um, You know, and and you got a lot of confidence leaving as a starter, you know, especially when you have a lead and they come in. but, you know, um, I came out and we were down and and they kept the ball game right there. They did a good job of that. And that's what they've been doing all year. Uh, Granderson also, we may can't forget Curtis. Curtis, lead off home run. The Mets will go for the sweep of the series on Sunday afternoon with their biggest gun on the mound. Noah Syndergaard will take the hill for New York. Our coverage begins on Picks 11 at 1230 on Sunday afternoon. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.